So I want to show you how to access resources from different projects. So in this diagram, I have two projects, project one and project two. And project one has a compute engine up and running and project two has cloud storage, which is probably having buckets and buckets have some files in it. So how do we access the files in the cloud storage bucket in project two? from Compute Engine from Project One. So just a quick background. So Compute Engine is actually created with default Compute Service account. So we did not create a service, service account before creating Compute Engine and tagged it along. So it, we basically selected a default, uh, all the default uh, options that it gives us, and then it comes with a default service account. So from my GCP console, if you can see, my first project is project one, and project two is exploring service accounts here. So let's just go ahead and see if uh, project two, which is exploring service accounts project, has a cloud storage bucket, and see if there is any if there are any files in it. So I selected my second project, and there is one storage bucket here. And within that storage bucket, I see within that uh, I see there is a there is a bucket, okay. And within that bucket, there is a test file. So our goal is to access this test file from this compute engine, or a more number of files. So in this case, we only have one file. So let's just go into project one, which is my first project, where we should have a compute engine up and running. So, yep, so I have a compute engine up and running. Let me just go and select. So we're gonna add SSH into this virtual machine and try to use gsutil commands and access uh, the buckets from uh, cloud storage. So I just selected the SSH connect and then it's going to spin up my virtual machine and it should we should be able to at least try to access that bucket from this virtual machine okay so the vm is up now uh, let's go back to this account once just to get the path of that bucket so that we can try and see if it's accessible from here. So I'm going to my storage bucket, selecting my bucket. And within if I select a file, it should give basically the gsutil URI. So I'm going to copy here this. So going into my console, again, this console is actually, uh, this virtual machine is actually in my virtual first virtual machine. So I'm gonna highlight that this is in here. Okay, so let me try to use the gsutil command and see if I can access it. Yes. Okay, it looks like I did not copy it properly, so let me go back. I'm gonna copy the path again. The GS util URA path, which is this. Okay, so I'm gonna go hit enter. So this is expected because 
it says 403 that this particular compute service account do not have access to this particular storage bucket meaning compute engine does not have access to the storage bucket so for for that access to for that to have you know make for that bucket to be accessible what we have to do is to go back to our first project and identify the defaultly created compute service account which will be available in IAM and admin section. So in this, if you see, there are few roles that were created, which is, which are these. So in this case, I have this ID with compute at developer.gservice account, which is what this console showed up. Let me pop that up. This, which is what this is. So I'm going to copy that. And then go back to my second project, which is exploring service accounts. And then I'm going to add that service account in the service in the IAM and admin section of the second project. So I'm going to copy here. And then since I'm trying to access the storage bucket, I'm going to pick the exact access that I want, which is only storage access. So I'm going to go to cloud storage. Now I'm going to pick storage admin. And then I'll save it here. So usually it takes a minute or so to, to refresh this access. And in most cases, we need to like restart the uh, virtual machines. But before that, let's just try that, try to access it. Yeah, it still says 403, but uh, let's kill this and then open the virtual machine again. I'm going to go back to my first project. Select the virtual machine. So this is up and running now. While that loads up, let me go back to my the storage bucket where I have a file which we are trying to access. Okay. So let's try that again. Okay, so we have the command here. So I'm running that gsutil ls into that bucket again. So it should, previously we got, a, we got an error saying 403, meaning that this particular compute service account do not have access to this particular storage bucket in project two. So uh, we kind of used, um, the compute service account and used it, uh, added it as a an user in uh, Compute Engine project, and then uh, gave permissions uh, to access the storage bucket. So this should be able to bring us the files. So here, if you see, it actually gave us results for this file. So let's just try and add another file or you know copy. Uh, and I'm going to add. Another file, so I'm going to create another file. So 
I'm going to upload it. So we have two files now. So let's just try and see if I we do the gsutil ls command, we're able to get files. There you go. So we have two files now. So that's that's the end of this video.